If I say the word editing, do you get excited? Or do you freak out just a little? Hey, look, if you are new to editing, I get it. We all learn somewhere. I've been editing for a long time. It is the most exciting part of creating videos for YouTube or just creating videos for me like ever. So in this video, I'm going to share with you eight different ways to edit your videos for YouTube. So it really doesn't matter if you haven't even started or you're just starting out. These are tips I use all the time and I go back and forth between them. So there is no right or perfect way. So let's hop on the computer and let's dive into it. Okay, so we are in Final Cut right now, and I've just got a project open. Uh, this is actually a video I did on my uh, my desk setup for YouTube video. If you want to watch that, there's a link down in the description. But when you start a project and when you start uh, your storyline, you drop your video down in here. This is typically the default look. So I this is the first tip. I come over here and I change the view to audio only because a lot of times I'm cutting the audio first. So I want to be able to see that. Now you can change this at any point, any, any look. I like this. I usually expand it. I make it bigger and now I'm ready to rock. Okay. The next tip is look for the gaps. What do I mean here? Well, if you see this right here, that's a gap where I'm not talking and this one doesn't have as many of those. Well, you can tell right here, even if you didn't look at the video, you can tell there's no audio right there. So looking for the gaps will also show you quickly if you want to cut things where there's no audio going on there. The next tip, I just call it click and drag. And it's literally like this. If I want that at the end, I just drag it over here. If I've got too much here and I don't want that, I can just drag it. Now you can really only click and drag like this without making an edit in the middle of something. But if I know I don't want any of this, Sometimes it's just easier to drag it like this and that's done. So I loaded another clip for this one because it's got more audio, more video to work with. And I call this one just blade and delete. And it's literally like this. Now to access the blade, I have it as a shortcut, but you can go right up here and you see this blade. It looks like scissors. You do that and you notice right now, anywhere I put this, when I click, notice the line right there and right there. And right there and right there. So what it's doing is putting a cut point to all of those. And when I go back here, I can do that and hit delete. And if I don't want that, I can hit delete. Now, whatever I click on like that, if I hit delete now, it's going to delete it. But you can also undo that. And that's easy way to just blade. Now you can also, again, I have the shortcut B, but you notice like right now, anywhere I'm, the playhead is the red. It's just editing that right there like that. So that is another advantage. It's also having the shortcut as your, as your B for your blade, and you can just quickly just chop it up. Hey, let me interrupt here just to encourage you not to do something. And that's don't be so quick to hire a freelance editor. Now, I've got nothing against freelance editors. In fact, I, I recommend a company that I work with for a lot of my clients. But here's the thing. If you're just new and you're just starting out, get your feet wet editing. Maybe you don't want to do Final Cut Pro. Maybe you want to go with iMovie or even something else, but learn it. You need to learn the basics before you hire somebody, and that way you can better direct them on what you want. All right, there, there's my public service announcement for today. Back to the computer. All right, I call this one blade and drag. It's just my name for it. So again, we're gonna kind of go back to the blade option here, but let's just say we're gonna take it right here and I'm gonna blade and all I've got to do is drag that. And you notice it dragged the whole thing. You can do it anywhere you want to. If I want to do this, blade there and just drag it. So that's another way to edit. All right, this one is using the brackets and it's just literally the brackets on your keyboard. So wherever you put your playhead, if I do bracket left, it removes everything to the left. Let me undo that. But let's say I want, let's go down here to the end and I don't want all this gobbledygook right here. I put that and I do bracket right and it removes that. Now, anywhere you do bracket right or left, it will keep doing that. So all of a sudden, if I do bracket right, it's gonna remove everything before that. Okay, another way to edit is the range tool. So let's say right here, I don't think I want any of this. I can come up to here and I can hit range. Now R is the shortcut. And watch this, if I do this right here and I hit delete, 
it just okay, took yeah, all yeah. of that out. Now, again, if you don't want it, you can do that. Um, you can redo it. So it's not it's not like you can't change it. And you can also drag the points here. But you don't have to get that that tight into to your edit right here. Do that, and it's gone. And you can blade as much as, I mean, I'm sorry, you can range as much as you want, and that'll do it. And this is just a quick way, again, to do a whole section that you may not need. Now, this next one is one that I use a lot of times if I want to do something different with the audio, but I want the video just to kind of stay in place, and that's detach the audio. So if you right click on here, you'll notice one of the things that comes up is detach audio. Well, if I do that, it literally just moved the audio there. I can do anything with it I want. I can actually get rid of the video, but if I wanted to put like a different shot over this or something, I can do that. So let me just do that right here. And if you notice right here now, all of a sudden, if I hit play, then there we go. It's still got the audio there and I can do something with it. So that's, that's another way to be able to manipulate it just detaching the audio. I would love to know down in the comments which one of these tips you like the best, or even if you have a tip I didn't mention, drop that below too. Hey, if you wanna do even more with Final Cut, including a cool app I found, check out the videos coming up next. Keep using your gifts. The world needs you. See you next time.